Brian Jackson was at the game of the week tonight down in Ponte Vedra. Boy, what an exciting crowd. I mean, yeah, like, excited, I, yeah. like I said, everybody could kind of walk there. Right. But you focused on one guy who not only has had a great high school career, but looks like he's got an incredible future in front of him. Right. You know, last year when we were thinking about that Ponte Vedra team, we were talking about their really explosive offense, of course, led by Nick Tronson, who's now at Indiana. But when those scouts were out there looking at him, they actually found a guy on defense by the name of Duncan Van Cooteren, who next year will be playing for Army. How they run their football program just felt very similar to the way that we run our football program here is that it's a team unit and it's not just about the individual person and everyone does their, does their individual jobs to the best of their ability and that's how you win football games. West Point was right for him because he's a uh, science and math guy. They've got one of the most phenomenal engineering programs available. The level of competitive football that they're playing is fantastic and he gets a chance to go and serve his country for the next five years. Ben Kuderin wanted to get the recruiting process over as soon as possible so that he could focus on getting the Sharks back to the state playoffs and so he could maintain his 4.4 GPA. You just manage your time well and it's basically just you come you come home from school or you go to get off school, go to practice, come home from school, do your homework and then go straight to bed after watching and then watch film and obviously and you get a little bit of hangout time but it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff and then on the weekends you get to relax a little bit. There aren't too many guys on Friday nights that are smarter than Van Cooterin, both on or off the football field. And in the days leading up to the game, he's even more prepared than some of his coaches. The questions he asks on a, on a Tuesday practice about what the other team is trying to accomplish is something that a 10-year veteran coach would be proud that they thought of. And that uh, there's a lot of times where he'll ask us questions and we'll be like, I don't know, actually, we haven't thought about that. I'll get back to you. And when he gets to school next year, of course, he's going to be majoring in engineering. How about that? You know, what's interesting about, about that is that so many guys want to drag that process out, right. you know, be wine and dine, so to speak, as right. much as you can for a 17 or 18-year-old. Right. He wanted to get it over with. He's a very, very mature kid. Actually, kind of reminds me a lot of Paul Puzlesny. Uh-huh. You know, maybe a kind of younger guy really carries the defense. He's up there getting everybody together, just the way he kind of carries himself, even the way he just looks at the camera and his shoulders are all big and everything. Like squared yeah, <laughs> exactly. Right. Like, you know that kid plays linebacker. Okay, there you go. Thanks, Brian. Great story. Maybe we'll see him as a scholar athlete. Maybe, yeah. I'd like to see that. He's got the GPA for it. Dad, get on News 4 Jacks and <laughs> fill out the form, would you?